Hey guys, welcome back to Burst TV. My name is Chris Michelle. I'm a registered dental hygienist and a senior Burst ambassador. And today we're gonna talk about RDA. RDA, what? So RDA is also an acronym for registered dental assistant, but today we're gonna talk about the RDA in toothpaste. So RDA, or relative dentin abrasivity is, quote, method of measuring of the erosive effect of abrasives in toothpaste on tooth dentin. What is tooth dentin? So dentin is that next layer underneath the enamel. So if your teeth or if you've seen teeth that look like this or maybe this, that means the tooth enamel has worn down. And usually that could be caused from brushing too hard, um, maybe grinding. There's so many factors as to why there might be some tooth wear. We're gonna do a little research here. We're gonna work, we're gonna do this together. I got my computer here. I got a chart of what an RDA table looks like. So from zero to 70, we got the low abrasive category. From 70 to 100, we have a medium abrasive. From 100 to 150 is highly abrasive. And 150 to 250 is very abrasive and considered very harmful to the teeth. So the reason why dentin is the focal point of this measuring system is because it is a lot softer than our enamel. It attracts or it's triggered by the acids, the sweets, the cold, you name it. So if you ever feel like your teeth are sensitive or maybe, you know, the, you know, the plaque is still there, you're not removing as much as you like with whatever toothpaste you're using, that all goes down to how much abrasives are in that toothpaste. And while, you know, the RDA label is not, well, the RDA number is not, you know, required to be put on a toothpaste label it is required if it wants if manufacturers and companies want that fda seal so the maximum number that they can go to is 200 so anything past 200 is a uh, sayonara get out of here that's too much that's too abrasive it's already in that category of 150 to 250. we're going to talk about our burst toothpaste and I have all three here. So we're gonna start with the Wild Mint. The Wild Mint sits at 58. So that is at our set zero to 70 low abrasive category. And next we have the Natural Wild Mint. This one sits at 66. So that is also in the zero to 70 category. And usually this is the one I recommend to my patients or to someone I know that does have sensitivity. I usually offer this one, but honestly, they can also go for this one because they're both in that low category. And last but not the least, the coconut salt toothpaste. This one sits right above the 70. It's actually at 73. So it's considered in the 70 to 100 medium abrasive category and they're all really great. The reason why they have abrasives in toothpaste, or I like to call it the grit in toothpaste, is because it's gonna help with plaque removal. It's also gonna help remove those surface stains like coffee stains or you know whatever easy stains you can take off your teeth. And the reason for that is because it's gonna prevent from you know future problems. We want to prevent dental cavities, we want to prevent any plaque related you know, diseases, and also um, gingivitis that can cause, you know, any, any type of gum periodontal disease, we want to prevent that. So that is the reason why they have abrasives in toothpaste. So I hope you enjoyed this segment, this really short segment on RDA, and I hope you learned something new. Let us know in the comments if you tried any of these toothpaste. Let us know if you've got a reaction from any of the toothpaste, because everyone's teeth is different, everyone reacts differently, and we want to know which one works for you. If all of them did, that's amazing, or if one of them did, that's also amazing. We want to know. Thank you again for watching, and stay tuned for more Burst TV.
Bye! I got acid speeds, cold water, coffee, wine, you name it. All the acids I heard in my teeth. Oh, brace nails. I don't know. <laughs> yes. So.